look at this squirrel video. Do you see a cute little cuddly critter or maybe a wild animal that could do damage to your property. The DNR is giving homeowners a little more latitude about which animals they can exterminate without a permit. Paula Tutman has been looking into some of the things homeowners definitely need to consider. All right, Paula, tell us more. Okay, so start with the fact that I've been in touch with numerous critter removal operations. They are slammed. This is baby season for wild animals, and many of those new babies, moms and dads, are on this DNR expanded list of what's considered nuisance animals that homeowners can now remove lethally without a permit because of the damage they're doing. In this one yard, something tunneled through the yard, and finally it collapsed on itself, leaving dangerous gaps that could break the leg or foot of an unwitting child running through the grass. Expensive landscaping is a salad bar to rabbits. The list of wild animal damage can be endless, and now the DNR has expanded the list of critters homeowners can kill without permit when they are deemed a nuisance. Added to the list, beaver, cottontail rabbit, coyote, fox squirrel, gray squirrel, ground squirrel, also in the squirrel family, chipmunks, also muskrat, opossums, raccoons, red squirrels, skunk, weasel, and woodchuck, also known as groundhogs. Kelly Stonerock goes by the nickname Critter Kelly with Act Live Trapping. Do you really want to kill an animal? This organization is a no-kill varmint trapper, and she says there are some animals homeowners shouldn't even attempt to trap or kill on their own, because if they don't know what they're doing, the animal can be harmful to you when cornered or injured. Raccoons can be vicious. You do not want to mess with a possum. They are scary. <laughs> So, yeah, a lot of these animals can be um, can be dangerous. The lethal methods of removal include body gripping traps. Lawful hunting is also an option. Lance DeVoe is the naturalist for the city of Rochester Hills. In the case of a, of a wild animal, the, the only really humane way is to shoot them. But if you are not a dead shot, you could injure the animal so it suffers instead of a fast death. If you can't make the perfect shot and place the the, the the bullet in the exact spot that causes an instantaneous death, I'm not sure that that's a humane way either. The Howell Nature Center is renowned throughout the state in its work to rehab and save the lives of every single animal on that expanded list, from beavers to chipmunks to coyotes. And they are deeply opposed to homeowners now being able to exterminate the animals on the expanded nuisance animal list. The Howell Nature Center is very disappointed by the expansion of the nuisance animal list. Uh, our goal here and our mission is to teach people to live in harmony with our native wildlife species. We work tire tirelessly every single day to do that. So we're very disappointed that people will now legally be able to kill these animals that we're trying to teach people to share our worlds with. And, and listen, at the end of the day, there are homeowners out there with heavy investments in their property. They want to kill these animals. What they need to remember is there are very few ways to do it humanely. And if that doesn't matter to you, what d should matter is that you know what you're doing, that you're following municipal rules in terms of whatever the ordinances are, including gun rules, and understand that if you cannot stomach killing an animal, don't even attempt it. Bring in the professionals, Karen. All right. Thank you, Paula.